it's our last evening in Luang Prabang, which means it's time for uh, impressions from Luang Prabang. We've been here for about a week. Impression number one. If you've ever heard that Laos is beautiful, that's absolutely true. It's really stunning. You got these, um, you know, this beautiful nature, huge trees, um, old like colonial style French buildings, uh, huge temples. It's it's really beautiful here. And obviously the Mekong River. It's nice too. Which brings me to impression number two, which is how we got here. We took this two-day slow boat from Chiang Mai um, to Luang Prabang. Now this sounds really idyllic, like two days just cruising down the Mekong River and chilling out on a boat. Day number one, we were placed in the back of the boat uh, next to the motor, which made just an super loud noise. Uh, it was really stuffy, there's no windows, like tiny windows. Uh, and people came back there to smoke. So it was a total crap day. Come on! Oh! Day number two, we got uh, better places in the front of the boat. Um, but still, I mean, even though it's beautiful nature, you're, you're cruising past all this nature, it does get kind of dull. So that was not the best experience, but hey, what you gonna do? Impression number three. Honestly, unsure what superlative to use to describe that tuk tuk ride. Impression number four. And now keep in mind we're coming from Chiang Mai, which is you know vegan food in heaven, and to Luang Prabang, which is a relatively small city. When you're traveling and looking for vegan food, you're always going to find it. You're, there's always something to eat. Luang Prabang obviously is a smaller city than Chiang Mai, and well, Chiang Mai is famous for being very vegan friendly, so obviously there's less hair. Also, the English is not as good, and you just generally have to be a lot more patient. That being said, we did find a, uh, a fully uh, we did find a fully vegan restaurant, which was really cool. Impression number five. This. Impression number six, uh, no rats, yay, at least we haven't seen any. But there are cockroaches. We did find some cockroaches in our room, ranging from the, you know, acceptable to the not so acceptable. Impression number seven, this is not so much about Luang Prabang, but it's something that happened while we were here. We were walking home from town and we actually went past the scene of an accident. Um, I won't go into details because it was rather grim. Um, a moped had... Um, crashed somehow and there was a dead person and they were it obviously just happened um, which kind of you know it, it's it's one thing to know that yeah car accidents and traffic accidents happen all the time but it's completely different to, to you know walk past something like that if you're gonna rent a moped use a helmet it's uh, definitely worth it number eight my kind of overall um, overall impression of Luang Prabang. It's a very small city, it's very quiet and like I said beautiful. I guess I'm more of a big city person. I enjoy kind of uh, large cities with uh, interesting like niche stores, niche uh, cafes, things like that. To me it was a little bit too laid back, a little bit uh, too quiet. Uh, I think if I'm, if you, I think if I stayed longer, I'd get really bored. Um, it's beautiful, but yeah, I guess I just miss a bigger city. It's gonna be good to to uh, go to a more, I guess, intense city. 
which is exactly what we're gonna do. Next stop is Hanoi in Vietnam. Uh, we're traveling tomorrow morning. And I'll see you in Hanoi. Thanks for watching. As always, leave some comments down below if you want to do that. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It means a lot to me. I think it's really cool to make these videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.